Hello. We are going to do a beautiful drawing today. Colorful, one color combination which I love to do. Okay, let's first go ahead and start the drawing. I'm going to go ahead and do the songbird today. Which is singing as always going to do a okay now let's do the eye and then the eyeball go ahead and color it black leaving small white spot then the other eye is over here just a little black over there too okay now let's do the wing then the body now let's do the tail It is singing, but why is it looking behind? What is it looking at? Let's see what it is looking at, okay? Today it is sitting on a branch, so it's not standing on the branch, it's sitting on the branch. Now comes the branch. done with the branch now let's finish this part of the drawing let's do some leaves wondering why is the songbird looking behind what could be the reason the leaves and then see why is it looking towards the back done with the branch I'm going to do the reason that it is looking behind big eye which is looking up then oh, what is this let's see that's one part of the beak this is another part but why is its mouth wide open let's do the neck guess any any guesses who this is Any guesses who this is? I think you should have guessed it by now. Now I'm going to do the wing. Then the body. Now let's go ahead and Color it in, color black, leaving the tiny white highlight. Now let's do the legs. But what is this? I'm doing the legs now, then comes the toes, 
then the one in the back now comes the other leg bring it down take it forward now comes the toes then the toe on the back but what is this i think you should have all guessed it by now it's a peacock now let's go ahead and do some small feathers around the body first some curve lines done now for the peacock feathers the huge big peacock feathers I'm going to first do a pencil line like that now I do the center lines on which the peacock eyes will be comes the others do this with pencil these are just for guidelines so do these with pencil like that now I'm going to do the peacock eyes I'm going to start with this one this will be my biggest peacock eye feather eye and then I'm going to alternate on each line as I alternate I'm going to make them smaller and smaller okay now I want you all to send in your requests on my Facebook page for the drawing that you want me to do next okay what do you want me to do next go ahead and send in your requests those are my peacock eyes but in the one day they don't look like peacock eyes that's because I haven't done the details on them yet. We'll do the details soon. Let's first finish the eyes. Like that. I'm going to turn my page because I want to do it properly. Slowly, easy, please. Don't rush your drawing. This is off the page. Ta-da! Almost done. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and uh, try to erase these lines, but do not, do not smudge the marker line. The marker lines must be still wet. So try not to smudge that. I'm just erasing those lines in the middle. Okay. Done. Do not erase completely because we do want some of the colors to be still visible. Okay, some of the lines to be still visible. So do not erase fully. Now let's go ahead and do some um, outlines or the lines for the peacock feathers. What shall we do first? Shall we do the lines for the peacock feathers first? Let's go ahead and do it then. 
So the peacock feathers are in beautiful colors, right? The colors that we will use for peacock feathers today are blues, greens and golds. So let's go ahead and start with the lighter green first, which will be the background of the eyes. So for the background of the eyes, this is what I am going to do. I'm going to go ahead and color. First do the outline around the pencil line. If it goes a little zigzag, that's fine too because these are the feathers, right? So it's fine if uh, the outline is uneven on the outer side. And then do the same thing on this side and then do outline around all the peacock eyes like this. So go ahead and finish the outer line and do the all the outlines around the Once eyes. Once done with the outlines, go ahead and finish in the direction your feathers are going. Go ahead and color the whole thing in the direction your feathers are going. So let's finish the whole thing in this lime green first. Once done with the light green, with the dark green, let's do the shading. Now, I didn't tell you why those two have such expressions on their faces, right? When the peacock is looking at the songbird singing so beautifully, peacock is like, Oh, I wish I could sing like her. She's singing so beautifully. And then when the songbird looked at the peacock, songbird is like, oh, look at my tail. That's the reason it's looking back. Look at my tail and look at peacock's tail. Wish I had a beautiful tail like peacock. Now, the songbird doesn't realize that the peacock is amazed at, at its singing and the peacock did not realize that the songbird is amazed at its feathers. So, there are situations in our lives to where you think another person is better than us. But trust me, everybody is best in their own way so never compare yourself with others it's always good to get inspired by others but never compare yourself i want to be like that i want to do like that you have your own talents you have your own beautiful things be happy with those cherish those so Done with the outer edge. See how beautiful it looks. All I did was some tiny lines going away from the edges. Now I'm going to go ahead and do these straight lines that I have done earlier with the pencil. I'm doing this these with a darker green. Not inside of the eyes, just between the eyes. Peacock is like, oh listen to the songbird and the songbird is like oh look at my tail nah they're beautiful they are both beautiful and they both have their own talents yes peacock has a beautiful tail but can it sing like the songbird? No. Yes, songbird can sing beautifully. But does it look like the peacock? No. But the, does that mean that they are both not beautiful? They are not both talented? Nah. This peacock dances so beautifully. And the songbird sings so beautifully. Now from each line... I'm going to do some lines going to the side. This will take some time. I want to show you how I'm doing. Okay, so this is, I'm going to bring a rough sheet. So if this is the line, I'm doing some curved lines on this side and also this side. 
that they should all go towards the outer side of the tail. So they are all pointing towards the outside of the tail like this. Go ahead and finish this with the dark green color. Finish those that line work. Done. Now let's go ahead and do the peacock feather eyes. What are the eyes? What colors are there? They are light blue, dark blue, and then a golden shade, and then a green. So these are the colors I'm going to use. I'm going to start with the dark blue first. Oops. With the darker blue, I'm going to make a circle, tiny circle, at the bottom of all the eyes. Depending on the size of the eye, they can go a little bigger too. Let's finish this on all the eyes. Done with the dark blue. And I'm going to use the light blue to do just a curve line around the dark blue. A curve line around the dark blue like this. But there should be still room, okay? We need to add two more colors. So keep a little room. Now, who is going to tell the peacock that you are beautiful? And who is going to tell the songbird that you sing very well, so you both are talented. You both are beautiful and you both are talented. Don't look at each other and think that, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. Look at what you have. See how you can develop it, how you can improve that even more. Your friend might be having a beautiful backpack. And you are like, oh, she has such a beautiful backpack. But then she must be looking at you and she must be like, oh, look at her pretty dress. So, you all have beautiful things. You all look beautiful. You all are talented. Oh, I forgot to do something here. So, this is the bottom of a feather right so i want to do blue that now go ahead and finish the lighter blue on all the eyes around the blue area done now with the same light blue go ahead and finish the peacock's face careful around the eye It is so amazed that it opens with big beak full and you're like ah oh. and the bird is so busy looking at its tail that it, it's not seeing how amazed the peacock is at its singing. See that is what happens. We forgot outline 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 but we should sing our song every day, during every session. We should not forget our outline. How can we do that? Done with the body. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the darker blue. And then I'm going to do the little shading not much just a little i sometimes wonder 
like when I have heavy bags in my hand or when I'm tired of walking, I'm like, ah, I don't want to walk anymore. I don't want to carry all these bags. I wonder how poor peacocks with such long, big feathers, how do they walk? Don't they get tired? It's also difficult, like, like the peacock cannot open its feathers and walk around the whole day. It needs to relax a bit too. So there you go. Done. Now I'm going to do the feathers on the legs. that now with the mustard color I'm going to do just one line above the blue but make sure there's still room don't go all the way till the top so if it is a small eye keep the line thin if it is a big eye make the line thick I'm going to zoom in I'll see should still have room no matter how small the eye is there should still be room on the top now let's finish this on all the eyes now I'm going to use the same color to do shading on the wing Like this. Now I'm going to switch to the darker green and finish the other half of the wing. Also, these. I'm going to do the outline on the outer edge. So, outline, outline, outline. Finish the outline. Outline. Then, fill in all this. going to go in with a darker green and then just do one line above each curve line I'm doing on the top but not for the outer one okay just for the ones in the bottom How many of you seen peacocks? Oh, I mean dancing peacocks. I have seen them so many times. At least seen them four times. Done. Now if you want, you can do curved lines with the darker green. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm going to color the beak of the peacock. I want to do it in an orange shade. And then I go over it with the 
with the with the what color am I looking for what color am I looking for I'm looking for a darker gray so go ahead and do a little shading with the darker gray now the rest of the foot is dark gray too Now, how many of you love the Pico colors? I love them. So once again, I forgot to do this. Oops, on all of them. And then, with the green, I go on the top like this. Like that. Okay, now with the same green, I'm going to go ahead and finish the Peacock eyes. If it is a big one, go ahead and do the outline. 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 Once finished, fill in. I love peacocks. I also love listening to birds. I put out a bird bath in summers and I wait near my patio in early mornings when they come for a drink. I just secretly watch them. I mostly see cardinal birds and all finches and my, when my flowers start blooming that's when I see hummingbirds too oh they are so small I have always heard that hummingbirds are really small I've seen pictures I've seen videos but then I, when I really saw them Oh wow, they are so small. Done. Now I'm going to one, do one last thing. I'm going to go for the darker green that I used earlier and then make some lines like this just to make the background a little darker so that the eyes will pop out a little. You must be like, another green we already used to. As many as it takes. Do you want your drawing beautiful or not? Do, you I've seen so many kids doing beautiful drawings and when it comes to coloring they rush and they do it so fast that they spoil the work make your work beautiful so add more um, patience towards the end do not lose your patience towards the end if you lose your patience towards the end then all the effort that you put right from the beginning will go vain. We don't want that, right? We want a beautiful, neat looking drawing. Not to impress anyone, not to make others say good job, but just for our sake, you should be happy with your drawing. So whenever my students come to me and ask, how do you like it? Do you like it? And like my first question I say is, do you like it? That's my first question. So go ahead and finish this on the rest of it. Now, do you see the difference between this area and this area? Here the eyes are somewhat mixed with the background. Now here the eyes are popping out a little. Let's finish that. Oh, the beautiful peacock is done. I'm going to do some grass when I have the same, the color in my hand. I'm going to do some grass before I put it down.
going in different directions. Hope you enjoy doing the peacock as much as I did. I really loved it because as I said, that's my favorite color combination. I love doing that color combination. Done with the grass. Now I'm going to go ahead and color the branch. I'm looking for my brown color to color the branch. And I found it. Let's go ahead and color the branch. Careful with the toes. And then color in one direction. Done. Now let's do the Mm -hmm. the leaves let's go ahead and finish all the leaves outline 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 go ahead and finish the outline do send me your requests I'm waiting for more requests the more requests you send the more drawings you will see Sometimes Bindu Auntie wakes up in the morning and she's like, what should I do today? And if I cannot come up with ideas, I may not do a session that day. Uh oh, so it's better you send me ideas and then I work on them. I'm going to go ahead and color in the leaves. Ta-da! Should we give a name to our songbird? It appears in so many of our drawings, right? Hmm? It appears in so many of our drawings. I think we should give her a name. What name would be good? What do you think will be good? Let's go ahead and color the beak. Nice beak. Now the inside of the mouth. Now comes the coloring. What color bird do you want today? I'm confused. What color bird should I do? I already have blue here, a lot of greens here. So I might want to do a pink bird. I don't want to add one more blue bird. So my magenta and the pink. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to do pink wings. Outline, outline, outline. Then do the coloring in the direction of your drawing. Now, again. Outline, outline, outline. Then do the coloring in the direction of your drawing. Now I do one tail in pink. One more in pink because I have three feathers on the tail. I'm going to use a magenta color oh, and then go ahead and do the coloring. With the magenta color, I'm going to do the head of the bird. Outline, outline, outline. Carefully do the outline. Outline. Also under the wing, under the wing, under the wing. Now around the eye, around the eye, 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 eye. That's me being careful. <laughs> Finish the coloring of the head. Careful. Now 
comes the body of the bird, body of the bird, body of the bird. Oh. The peacock must also be wondering, right? Oh, it looks so pretty in pink. I don't have pink on me. I am always blue and green. I cannot have pink on me. Maybe that is also one of the reasons that the peacock is like, oh, oh, wild motor. And maybe the bird is feeling the same. I am all pink. I want to have beautiful blues too. Yeah. I say, be happy with what you have. Enjoy what you got. Appreciate others for what they have, for the talent that they have. And then we are done with the drawing. Hope you all had fun. I'll see you next session. Take care. Bye-bye. Do send in your request. The more requests I get, the more drawings you will get to learn. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye. See you. Ta-da.